Hi, good morning Jeffrey. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 23rd of May 2022. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name, for the record? My full name is Jeffrey Souza. And what is your candidate number? My candidate number is 20131619. Thank you. Are you taking this test as a nurse? Yes, I am. All right. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. So, let's start with warm-up questions. The warm-up questions are not assessed, and are a chance for us, to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. Why did you decide to become a nurse? I chose nursing as a career because, I love listening to people's stories. Over one summer holiday in high school, I got the chance to travel to Vietnam and care for blind children. The experience opened my eyes to how much caretakers give of themselves every day. It showed me that simply being there for a stranger can make a difference in their lives. This inspired me to study nursing. How do you manage your shift? As a nurse, my duties change every shift. To stay on top of my patient care, I take out 20 minutes at the beginning of each shift to review my patient's charts. During my rounds, I try to build a rapport with my patients to encourage them to share important health information. This way, I can minimize mistakes and prioritize more serious patients. As a result, I am able to deliver high quality care and improve patient satisfaction. What does compassionate care mean to you? To me, compassionate care means putting myself in the patient's shoes and understanding their feelings and concerns. It means listening actively, showing kindness and empathy, and respecting their choices and preferences. It also means providing holistic care that addresses not only their physical needs, but also their psychological, social and spiritual needs. Explain a stressful situation you handled at work. One of the most stressful situations I faced as a nurse was when I had to deal with a cardiac arrest on my ward. The patient was a young man who had a history of drug abuse. He collapsed suddenly and stopped breathing. My task was to initiate CPR and call for help. I quickly assessed his airway, breathing and circulation and started chest compressions. I asked a colleague to get the defibrillator and another one to call the crash team. I followed the resuscitation protocol and delivered two shocks until the patient regained a pulse. As a result, the patient survived and was transferred to the intensive care unit for further treatment. After the incident, I debriefed with my team and reflected on what went well and what could be improved. How do you work in a team? As a nurse, I work closely with other members of the multidisciplinary team, such as doctors, pharmacists, physiotherapists and social workers. One example of a successful team project I was involved in was the implementation of a falls prevention program on my ward. I was part of a working group that developed and delivered training sessions for staff on how to assess fall risk, implement interventions and document outcomes. I also helped to create posters, leaflets, and stickers to raise awareness among patients and visitors about the program. As a result, we saw a significant reduction in the number of falls on our ward as well as improved patient satisfaction and staff morale. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about 
and you can make notes on the role play card, if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you Mihira. You can look at the card, during the test, but you must return it to me, at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you. Your preparation time is over. You can now start your OIT speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning, Mihira. I am Jeffrey Souza, your attending nurse here today. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay, thank you for asking. That's great to hear. Mihira, I wanted to talk to you about your transfer to the rehabilitation center. I understand that. You are feeling reluctant about going. Yes, I'm not sure if it's necessary. I understand your concerns, Mihira. Rehabilitation after hip replacement is a routine and important part of the recovery process. It involves physical therapy sessions to improve strength, mobility, range of motion, and balance in the new hip joint. Physiotherapy can help aid healing and improve stability after your hip replacement surgery. All right, I got it. But... Mihira, I would like to know why you are not feeling good to go to the rehabilitation center. Nothing, but I am not comfortable staying outside my house. I wish to be home as early as possible. I totally agree with your point. It is always good to be home rather than being elsewhere, especially in hospital settings. But... Going to a rehabilitation center and doing physical therapy is an important part of your recovery process. It is important to pace yourself and keep up with exercises to strengthen your muscles 
and improve your balance and blood circulation. I see. But, what about the rehabilitation center itself? Your concern is quite natural. Mihira, the rehabilitation centers are designed to assist with mobility and activities during your recovery. You may need to use special equipment, such as a walker or cane, and other strengthening and stretching exercise equipment. The staff there are trained to help you regain your strength and independence. And, if you have any concerns or needs, they'll be there to support you. It might be. But, I'm not sure if I will be comfortable there. Mihira, it would be great if you could vent your thoughts that are bothering you. Nurse, I am very much concerned about my privacy. There will be other patients too, won't it? Yes, there will be. But, you will have your own room, and the staff will respect your privacy as well. In addition, you will also have the opportunity to socialize with other patients, if you wish. Okay, that's good to know. And what about the food? Will it be healthy? Yes, definitely. The rehabilitation center provides nutritious meals that are tailored to your dietary needs and preferences. That's reassuring. By the way, nurse, how long will I need to stay there? Your question is reasonable. Mihira, recovery times vary for each individual, but typically it takes one to two weeks to regain minimum strength so that you can use aids to support your mobility. And most people can resume most of their normal activities in three to six weeks. In contrast, some people may need to stay in a rehabilitation facility or have someone to help them at home for several days to weeks. If you follow the instructions from the rehabilitation center, after six weeks, you may be able to resume normal activities. Okay, thank you for explaining everything to me. I feel more comfortable going to the rehabilitation center now. That's good to hear, Mihira. Thank you for your understanding. Mihira, before concluding, let me summarize what we have discussed so far. Okay, we can. I came here to discuss the concerns you have about going to the rehabilitation center, and there were a few concerns you had. First, I explained the importance of the rehabilitation center and what all is happening there. Afterward, we discussed why it needed to be done in the rehabilitation center itself, rather than at home. Yes, those were clearly explained by you. Thank you. Next, you expressed your concerns regarding your privacy and food. I reassure you that your privacy will be ensured, and also, this is a chance to be social with others, if you wish to. I also ensure that you will get good nutritious food according to your health status. Thank you for the assurance. Finally, the point to be remembered is that the recovery will depend upon each individual, and if you follow the instructions from the rehabilitation center, you will get recovery in three to six weeks. However, it can take longer durations, depending on individual situations. Yes, I got it, nurse. Mihira, if you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to ask. Sure, nurse. I will. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, nurse. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.